Hey guys, this is Avery with Skips Tactical Solutions and thanks for joining me with Talk To Me Thursday. As you guys come on, you can let me know where you're joining me from. Hey guys, as you join, please let me know where you're joining me from. Hi Joshua, thanks for joining from California. Hi Tiffany Chavez, thanks for joining. Hey Shogad, thanks for joining. D Rock, thanks for joining. Lady Chaos, thanks for joining. Hey, 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 Jeffrey, thanks for joining. As you guys are coming on, please let me know where you're joining me from and let me know how your week is going so far. Hey, Andrea, thanks for joining. Today we will be talking about a lot of things. We will be talking about our upcoming giveaway, which when our Instagram hits 10,000, I will be doing a giveaway. Once our Facebook hits 3,000, we will be doing a giveaway. So please recommend your friends and family to the page. And as soon as we hit those numbers, we will be doing a giveaway. Andrea, don't be exhausted. Um, for all the people that are joining on Facebook, thanks for joining. Um, I will go ahead and get started. Uh, tonight we'll be talking about hollow sun optics. We will also be talking about how to properly mount a scope or optic to your rifle. And we will also be talking about our giveaway and the gracious companies that will be giving us products for our giveaway. So um, if you guys have questions, feel free to ask your questions. We did not have any questions that came in this week. So I picked a couple things for us to talk about. So feel free to ask things if you would like to, but we will go ahead and get started. All right, so first of all, I would like to go over being situationally aware. Um, this is something that has come to my attention that is going on, especially here in Tampa here lately. Well, I guess in Hillsborough County, but I'm sure it is a problem that is all over the place. I need for you guys to be aware of your surroundings at all times. I know if you are out and about, we have... A tendency to be on our phones and kind of looking around, you know, um, not really being aware of what we should be. You should be very aware of who is always around you. If there's a car, if there is a person, please be aware. Um, there's a lot of things going on about human trafficking and we just do not want anyone to be a victim, right? So be aware, be prepared, have some way to personally protect yourself and um, you don't want to have to really call for help. You may not be able to call for help. You may get kidnapped and you don't have time to actually call someone. So that's my spiel on that for tonight. Um, we will try to do some videos with tips or posts about that coming up here soon. But please be aware of your surroundings and tell your friends and family to be aware of their surroundings as well. Today, while we're doing the video, if you have... Um, any questions, post them. If you agree with what I'm saying, you can give me a thumbs up or Instagram, you can give me love. Um, and if you feel like this pertains to someone that you think um, should know, please have them, uh, you can share the video with them. And um, if I do not get to your questions during the live video, I will answer them on the replay. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about today is 
um, mounting a scope or an optic onto a rifle. So this is my rifle that I will be using tonight. Um, anytime you use a firearm, you handle a firearm, you want to always make sure that it is cleared out. So my firearm is cleared out and I'm going to handle it. So when mounting a scope or an optic, you want to make sure that you find the correct slot. And these are your different slots that you're going to mount it on. So when you are mounting it, you wanna make sure that you push it forward and you get it into the correct slot before you actually secure it, all right? So if this was not properly secured, if I press forward, then it would have slightly moved, all right? So when you're dealing with red dots or when you're dealing with uh, optics, you wanna make sure that you mount them slightly forward versus being too far back here because if you mount it more forward, then you will have a wider field of view, all right? So back here, it's gonna be closer to your eye. Up here, you're gonna have a wider field of view, all right? Um, and this is a Hollow Sun HE510C, and this is a green dot. So this is not my actual um, AR that I will be using. My AR that I just recently built is in the shop getting a custom paint job so when that comes out of the shop you guys will definitely see that um back to mounting this if you do not make sure that it is pressed forward whenever you get the recoil with your firearm your optic or your scope red dot whatever it may be may move all right so just make sure that you get it mounted properly because you don't want it to move but um, once you've identified that correct slot, you want to make sure, excuse me, that you use blue light Loctite to secure it, all right? You want to find the correct slot, then you want to use Loctite to actually secure it, all right? So this is my blue Loctite. When it comes to Loctite, a little goes a long way, all right? Um, I know sometimes when people are using cleaning products and any kind of product like this, they tend to put a lot. A little goes a long way. So this tube of Loctite will last me a while, all right? So the next thing is you want to put the Loctite on and secure it to your fasteners, and then now your optic is secure, all right? So um, next thing you wanna do is you want to use a torque wrench. This is the torque wrench that I use to actually torque it to your manufacturer's spec specifications, all right? Torque wrench. Mine's is electronic, but you don't have to use electronic one. This one, um, it will actually beep once it gets to the correct specs. So a torque wrench and it would, your optic will be secured, all right? So again, make sure that if, you, if you're running a red dot or optic, you wanna push it more forward. Some people tend to have them back here. And while I'm on this, um, I would like to remind you to always have rear and front sights, all right? You want sights as well as a optic or a scope, all right? Because if someone were to steal this, then what am I gonna use, right? Some people say, you know, batteries, some, like this is uh, solar, so if someone were to actually steal this or it were to be crushed, then I wanna make sure that I actually have some uh, sights on here, so I'll still have my front sight and my rear sight, all right? When you're mounting, Optic scope, you want a torque wrench, and you also want Loctite. All right, guys? So if you guys understood what I said, please give me a thumbs up, heart, like, whatever. 
Um, if you don't, feel free to let me know what your questions are. For the ladies and gents that are joining, please let me know where you're joining us from. We have a couple things that we will be talking about today, but um, if you guys have questions, you can ask your questions, but um, if I don't get to your questions, I will try to get to your questions on the replay. For the people who are on Instagram, if I do not get to your questions, um, the Instagram replay is only up for 24 hours, so um, I still have a full-time job, so if I can't make it to your question, please inbox me whatever your question is, all right, guys? Um, we just went over how to properly mount, um, and the scope... The optic that I was using is a hollow sun. Sorry, I know on Instagram it's kind of blurry for you guys. So some of the um, specs on this, I'm going to read it directly off the box. Not making it up. And Hollow Sun, I'm actually a dealer for them. So if you are looking for this, please head over to my website. If I don't have it in stock, you can send me a message and I will absolutely order it for you guys. Um, Hollow Sun has 50,000 hours of life for your dot and 20,000 for your circle. Excuse me. It has a solar panel. It has um, a battery tray, titanium frame, waterproof and it also has a shake awake so if you guys are not familiar with that please um i did a video on this i want to say maybe two or three videos ago but check them out because they're absolutely amazing they are on our website if we do not have them in stock we will absolutely order them for you guys Um, something else that I'll be talking about is um, we will be doing a giveaway once our page, our Facebook page hits 3,000. So I think right now we're at 2,700. Once our Instagram hits 10,000, we'll be doing a giveaway. This time I chose to do separate giveaways. So we'll be doing a Facebook giveaway and an Instagram giveaway. I think our Instagram giveaway should be here pretty soon because we're at about 9,000. 9,000. I think we're about 50 away from our 10,000, um, but that changes. So please recommend your friends and family to the page. Um, if you have any content that you would like to see from us, please let me know and we will um, post it. So one of the companies that will be participating in our giveaway is 2ATs. 2ATs is an amazing company and they do tees that are 2A friendly. So this is my 2A shirt i absolutely love it um if you guys like it please head over to 2ats but they will be doing a um they will be part of our giveaway so if you guys are interested in the tees please enter our giveaway they will be doing five tees for our instagram giveaway and five tees for our facebook giveaway so they are amazing i will be wearing my two ATs and I'll try to post pictures with them. All right, guys. So please share. Um, once we hit 3000 on our Facebook, we will do our Facebook giveaway. And once we hit 10,000 on our Instagram, we will be doing our Instagram giveaway. Um, Adolph, thanks for joining my talk to me Thursday. And Erica, thanks for joining. And thank you for sharing as well. Um, another company that has been so ever gracious um, and supporting me since I have started and also they will be participating in our Facebook and our Instagram giveaway is the Black American Outdoorsman's Group. Um, they are on Instagram and Facebook. They will be giving away a tea and a coffee mug. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely live on coffee, so um, I'm looking forward to them participating. If you guys are not 
in the Black American Outdoorsman's group, please join their group. You don't have to be African American to join. They are all about all things outdoors related. So please head over to their group. Hey guys, and all of you, I am on every Thursday night. Um, another company is Chameleon Concealed Carry Handbags. They will be doing a giveaway for our Instagram page only. So if you have not headed over to the Chameleon Concealed Carry Handbags, I absolutely love my concealed handbag. I carry it every single day, even if I don't have my firearm in my handbag. If I'm carrying on my body, I still have it. Um, and I still have my handbag with me. So they will be participating as well and they will be giving away a concealed carry handbag. So make sure that you guys watch out for that. And Southern Bullets will be giving a with a Kydex holster and 77 Solutions will be giving away a Kydex holster as well. So I'm really excited. We have a lot of amazing companies that have agreed to participate and make sure that you guys share and you recommend your friends and your family to participate in the giveaway as well because you guys will have more chances to win. I will be giving away some of my Skips Tactical Solutions tees as well. For everybody that is new to joining, if you guys can please <clears throat> Let me know where you're joining us from. I love to know where people are joining us from. Erica, thanks for joining from Virginia. Um... Another thing that I want to talk about tonight is a new product that I was recently introduced to. This is the Mantis X. And if you guys are familiar with the Mantis X, please let me know. So tonight I was going to try to give you guys a quick, excuse me. A quick video to show you how it works. I can't do a quick video tonight because I'm live on Instagram and Facebook. So I am on two different phones. Um, for me, this is a game changer, guys. This is the case that it came in. So as you can tell, the product comes in a nice package. And everything, I want to let you guys know, everything that I recommend, I'm absolutely a user for the things that I recommend. For the guys that aren't, guys and girls that are on Instagram, is it frozen? We just had a crazy storm come through, so... It may be frozen because of that. Okay, so my Instagram's not frozen. Is, face, is Facebook frozen? Okay. So I'm going to talk to you guys really quick about the Mantis. Um, this is a game changer. Uh, I haven't been able to get to the range. And this... You can use it for dry fire, and you can use it for live fire, and you can use it for airsoft. Says it on the box. So it's probably backwards for you guys, but I'm going to read off the box. It says, attaches to any pistol or rifle with a rail or adapter and can be used live fire, dry practice, and airsoft. So for me, this is essential if you are a new shooter. You can learn the basics and apply your fundamentals within your own home. 
Doing dry fire will help you for when you're ready to actually go live. You've practiced, you know what you've done wrong. I tried um, some common things that I know shooters typically do and it picked up on every single thing. It um, lets you know if you, and it actually does like a score. So I don't know if you guys can see, it'll give you a score. And for me, I wanted a score on every single shot that I did. So I think this is about $130. It's very user friendly. I downloaded the app to my phone and between me charging it, it's Bluetooth. Um, I had it ready to go and installed on my weapon and dry firing in about 30 minutes between me plugging it up, letting it charge, and um, actually going, um, I don't want to say live because I wasn't live, but me actually using it. Um, for this, I couldn't make it to the range, but I was able to get my dry fire in. That is very important, guys. For someone who is new, for someone who is experienced, you need practice time. Practice time is very, very important. So this is what it actually looks like. And you can see where it attaches. There's a little screw that you need to secure. So Erica, I do not have these for sale, but I can recommend where you can purchase it from. So I just started using this this week. Um, it was even nice because I was able to get a little bit of dry fire in, then I handed it off to my husband, he got a little bit of dry fire in, and then we kind of made it like a little friendly competition between the two of us. Although we didn't say it was a competition. Uh, this is really, really nice. Um, you can practice and get a lot of information from this. I got a lot of information. Um, the errors that I was making on purpose I could actually see that it was picking up on those errors as well. So here it is, Mantis X. It, um, so I'm not gonna say that this is a cheap product because it's definitely not a cheap product, right? Um, I said it was over $100, but this is something that I definitely recommend. If you are live, you can use it while you're live as well. So if you're out the range and you're shooting and you don't know what you're doing wrong, you can attach this to your firearm and it will tell you the mistakes that you're making. Some of the common mistakes are anticipating your shot. You're anticipating, you're holding the firearm too hard, you're putting too much of your finger into the trigger. Those are all things that this will pick up on. So this, I'm not gonna say it's going to replace an instructor, but these are the things that you need to know that you're doing. So you don't know what you don't know. Mantis X. Um, I'm not a paid affiliate or anything. I like to just recommend good products that I find so that you guys can use them as well. And again, this is what it looks like. And it allows you to pick your firearm. So you go in, you install the app, and you can pick what firearm you are dry firing for. It gives you... It gives you real-time feedback such as, you know, you're jerking the trigger, you have too much of your finger in the trigger, um, those types of things. And um, you can join groups. So here, um, once I get a little bit more time, I will set up a group and everyone that has a Mantis, we can join a group together and we can get our practice on together, which I think is kind of nice. So this is something that you can use with a pistol, but you can also use it with a rifle as well. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Let me also know where you guys are joining us from and how your week is going. Something else that I want to go over is our upcoming classes. Um, we had a great couple of classes here recently. We had our intro to pistol class last weekend. I didn't really get to post about it because we were pretty busy over the weekend. And then we also had a concealed carry class. With the concealed carry class, we had a good bit of people um, 
They were very excited about the information that they learned, and I love teaching new people to conceal carry. Um, it's all about learning the laws, and if you do not know some of the common issues that people run into when it comes to conceal carry, you can get into a lot of trouble. So some of the common issues that I'll say is when it comes to gun laws, they're very strict about gun laws. You need to know where you can and cannot carry your firearm because you don't want to get hit with a gun crime and have a misdemeanor or have a felony on your record because those are the types of things that can impact you for the rest of your life, right? So if you have not taken a concealed carry class, I would recommend that you take one. If you're not going to take a concealed carry class, I would recommend you get very smart on the laws for the state that you live in and the laws for the states that you travel through, all right? So not all laws are the same, not all states are the same, right? So get smart on the states for the ones that you travel through and for the state that you live in as well. Um, I don't know if you guys saw, I posted a, a news article today about a rapper who was arrested at the Tampa International Airport for having a firearm. Um, I know the law pretty much that he broke, I covered that in my concealed carry class. So if you don't know those types of things, take a class. If it's been hard and you have not taken a class recently, right? You kind of forgot some of those things. I would recommend that you take a class. You don't have to take a class just because this is your first time, right? You can take a refresher class. It's always good to be smart on the laws. Our next concealed class is the 20th of October. And our next intro to pistol class is 13 October. Our concealed class is $60. Our intro to pistol is $150. When I say $150, please realize that I am doing a three hour course and everything is included as far as your range fees. I know sometimes people go to a class and they have to pay their range fee out of their own pocket, kind of like those hidden costs, right? I don't know about you guys, but I don't like hidden costs, right? I like everything up front. So for me, it is a three hour class, $150, right? And it's two hours in the classroom and then we do a full hour on the range. So if you don't own a handgun, you can still take my class. And if you take my class and you don't own a handgun, um, you can just rent one for me. And if you rent a handgun, it comes with 50 rounds of ammunition as well. Next concealed class is the 13th of October. No, sorry, next concealed class is the 20th of October and our next intro to pistol class will be on the 13th of October. Thank you, Cody, and happy birthday to you. Sarah Kane said, if I have a pretty good prelim sorry, preliminary knowledge, what course is better? Um, preliminary knowledge of firearms or are you speaking about conceal class? Something else that I want to cover is if you have a group of people that you would like to set up a class for, please let me know. So you can set up a class for, excuse me, your church group. It can be a group of friends that you have. It can be a group of ladies. And it can also be a couples class, right? So if you have anyone that you would like to set up a group class with, please let me know. I try to do groups of at least five to eight for um, a group class. Reach out, let us know, and we can absolutely um, facilitate a class for you. Um, Sarah, if you have preliminary knowledge, I would recommend the Intro to Pistol course because you can always make sure that you have all of the basic skills. And in my class, I cover cleaning as well, storage, those types of things. And then when you go to the range, then we will be able to apply those skills and then if you are already at a little more advanced level, I guess I can say, then we can do a little bit more advanced things on the range. King Lynn, thank you. 
Um, D Rocks 41, are your classes geared towards beginners or advanced? Um, my intro to pistol class would be more for a beginner, and uh, I can do advanced classes as well. And even if you have been shooting for years and you think you are ready for an advanced class, please make sure that you're ready for an advanced class. And sometimes it's okay to brush up, brush up on those basic skills, right? Those basic skills are the skills that you need. They're your foundation. So if you don't have those basic skills, you're not going to really be able to build upon those, right? The basics is what you need. And you don't want to have bad habits that you continue to build upon. Oh, sorry, Sarah. I wasn't um, talking to you. I was just saying in general. Do you guys have any questions for me? I really enjoy my Talk to Me Thursdays. I appreciate everybody that joins. Um, I look forward to every single Thursday because I get to hang out with you guys and do a live video. Blue 27, um, I actually just had a request for me to come out that way. So um, if you know of people that may be interested in the class, let me know because I've already had a request to come to Virginia. Um, no, sorry, I don't want to mess your name up. Rafe, sorry. Um, I do have a group trying to set a class up in Orlando right now. So if you're interested in an Orlando class, please send me a message and I will send you the details. It's more around November, December timeframe, but I have a group that's looking to put a class together in Orlando. And Blue, thank you for your service. So guys, my classes and my information, um, it's, I don't want to say it's more towards the um, beginner. I try to cover things for beginners and I try to cover things for people who may be more advanced. Um, if you have questions, please let me know so I can make sure that I'm covering the things that you want me to cover because if I don't get any questions from you guys and I just cover the things that just pop up in my mind I think may need to be covered. Um, I love the support that we've been getting from everybody and we are almost at 10,000 on Instagram so I can't believe it but we are almost at 10,000 our Facebook is growing just as fast so I'm as surprised as that as well our Facebook is at 2,700 right now so I appreciate every single person on each page I appreciate everyone that goes to the website so my website is skipstacticalsolutions.com and once you go to our website, please join the mailing list so that when things come out, you have the upper hand and you find out about them. Excuse me. I do recommend flashlights on your pistol and your rifle. Some of the products that we sell, so I'm a dealer for a few products. When I say that I'm a dealer, that means that I have purchased their products because I believe in their products. So I purchase them with my own money and I buy these products so that I can sell them to you guys because I believe in them. So everybody needs a good quality cleaning product. A good quality cleaning product that I recommend is Breakthrough Clean Technologies, right? So they have really good cleaning products and they are non-toxic. When you're cleaning, you want to make sure you have something that is odorless and non-toxic. So check those out. We recently became a dealer for Holosun. So you can head over to our website. Any product that I'm a dealer for 
If it is not listed on my website, please let me know if you would like to purchase something and I can order it. Um, I don't have a huge inventory of products because like I said before, I purchased the, these products with my own money. So I don't have a huge inventory. And um, for all of you hunters out there, I have Athlon Optics. I did a post about Athlon today. And if you're interested in Athlon, head over to my website. I do have a few things that we have in stock. I also have misconcealed holsters. If you see the holsters that I normally wear, those are misconcealed. I love their holsters and they're on my website as well. Chameleon concealed carry handbags are the concealed carry handbags that I use and I love them. They're on my website. If you are interested in any of their products, you can go to my website. The bag that I have is the Fia and it is absolutely amazing so a quick tip for all of you ladies if you are carrying in a handbag and i just had this talk with the lady uh yesterday if you're carrying in a handbag please have your firearm secured in your handbag when i say secured please have it in a holster don't just throw it in there don't throw it in a pocket and say okay it's just away from everything else you want to have it secured in a holster so that when you go to draw out of that um, holster out of that pocket of that um, handbag you can actually get a good draw and you know every single time that you put your hand in there your firearm is going to be in the exact same position that it was the very last time all right so ca chameleon concealed carry handbags I will do more posts on those if you guys have not went over to their page they actually have bags for men as well so check them out you guys will definitely like them Uh, 501 Calvin, thank you so much. Um, I appreciate you sharing the information and thank you. All right, guys, so I will do a quick recap on the things that we covered tonight. So I went over mounting your scope or optic. So this is my hand, I'm oh, sorry, this is my rifle. This is my optic. When you're mounting an op optic or a scope, make sure that you're mounting it in the right place, right? You want to make sure that it's actually secured. A couple of the things that I talked about that you need to have is you need to have a torque wrench and you need to have blue Loctite. All right. I also talked about the Mantis, which is a cool new product that I recently learned about. This is a great tool for when you can't make it to the range, all right? When you cannot make it to the range, you can still get practice in in your home. Um, for me, I can't make it to the range very often because I have a full-time job, I have a side business, and I also have two kids and a husband. So I can't always make it to the range. This is a new game changer. Once I get really, really good, right, and have a lot of time, I will set up a group, a skip tactical group, or I'm not sure how you um, name the groups, but I will let you guys know what my group is called, and we will do some dry fire challenges. This is what it looks like. Very simple to mount. And it is a game changer. All right, guys. Not cheap, but this is an investment. Everything that I talk to you guys about, I will never recommend something just because it is cheap. I recommend quality products that are an investment. All right. Um, and I started off my video by talking about being aware of your surroundings. Um, this is very important. Um, being a woman, I know how important it is for women and pretty much everyone to be aware of their surroundings. You need to talk about this with your kids. You need to talk about it with your loved ones, um, even your frenemies. We still want them to be safe too. So um, be aware of your surroundings. We are in a digital age, right? We're all on social media. We are very fascinated with our phones. 
But when you're out in public, let's try to give it a rest, especially when you're walking. You don't want to walk and talk, right? You don't want to walk and text. You want to be very aware of your surroundings. You need to be aware of the car that just passed you or the person that may be looking at you a little too hard, right? Why are they looking so hard? Those types of things. Uh, be very aware of your surroundings because... There have been a lot of videos that have been circulating about human trafficking and just the crazy people that are out there nowadays. Tell your kids when they're walking home from the bus stop, try to always walk with another kid, right? Because it's going to be harder to abduct two kids, right? Or, you know, you guys can both tell the cops what the car looked like, those types of things. Be aware of license plates. Please, please share this information because we want everyone that we know, love, care about to be safe. Um, <clears throat> when it comes to situational awareness, you can never be too aware of your surroundings, all right? That is also a car that may be parked around the corner and it's an unusual car. Please be aware of your surroundings. Please have some type of device on your person to protect yourself even if it's just keys right if you have your remote for your car you can start your alarm and it may just alert them to oh too much noise we're not going to grab this person but i do highly recommend that you have some weapon on your body so that if someone were to grab you they grab you and you drop everything that's in your hands i wear my purse up on my shoulders and i normally have my hand on it so if someone tries to take it, my hand is on it. So that's something to be aware of as well. Be aware of your surroundings. If you do not know how to personally protect yourself, and I recommend having a firearm, I will not bring like a knife to a gunfight, right? I'm going to bring a gun to a gunfight. I want to always be able to protect myself. So please always protect yourself as well. If you are a woman or a man and you feel like you will be able to call the cops, you may not have a phone to call the cops, right? But if your firearm is on your body, you'll be able to grab your firearm and protect yourself. Um, as women, we are targets. Your children are targets as well. So we want to make sure we can always protect ourselves and our children and those around us who cannot protect themselves. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. If you need recommendations on firearms, I have the standard ones that I recommend just because they're quality uh, concealed carry recommendations. But I won't say that there is a one size fits all, right? I want you to go out. I want you to actually shoot these firearms so that you can get good range time in and know that it's a farm that you love because if you love it, then you're going to carry it, right? Texas Gun Academy, thank you. But we're definitely here. Um, we want to help. If you're in Florida and you're able to take our class, I would absolutely love for you to come and take our class. If you cannot personally take our class, then you can always go to our website, check out the products that we have on our website. Um, I know I mentioned it before, but I'm looking to start a podcast. So if you guys are into podcasts, please let me know the type of content that you would like to hear because we will definitely be working on that. And then if you're not into podcasts, let us know what you're into so that we can work on some content for that as well. Excuse me. Our next class is the 13th of October. That is a intro to pistol class, $150, three hours, two hours in the classroom, one hour on the range. 20 October is our concealed carry class, which is a three-hour class. You're sitting in the class, and we're dropping the knowledge on concealed carry laws within Florida. And we go over a couple of the standard things, um, federal and things that are just common practice throughout the U.S. as well. If you're interested in setting up a group class, please let us know. Reach out. You can have a group class for your friends, for your family. Um, right now, I have someone in Orlando that is looking to set up a group class as well. So if you are interested in that, please let us know and we can kind of work something out with you guys. And stay tuned for our giveaway. If you are on our Facebook page, make sure that you share our Facebook with your friends, family, frenemies, everyone. Just share the page so that once we hit 3,000, we will be doing a giveaway. The companies that have been absolutely amazing and they said they're going to partner with us for our Facebook and our Instagram. We have Black American Outdoorsmen. We have two ATs, which is the company that made the tee that I'm wearing today that I absolutely love, by the way. We have Southern Bullets. She will be donating a 
Codex holster, and we also have Chameleon Concealed Carry handbags, and I will be donating some of my Skips Tactical Tees. So if you guys love what you saw tonight, please share. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. And this is Avery with Skips Tactical Solutions. I appreciate you guys joining me and have a great weekend.